Hi, this is Claudine from Homespun Couture. Um, I'm at the part of my project where I will be spinning. This is my wheel. It's a Kromsky. It's actually like a super fancy wheel that I sort of lucked into at an estate sale. Um, and I didn't realize until I got it home how fabulously expensive they are in real life. So, um, anyway, I was just looking for a treadle wheel. When I initially started spinning, I bought an e-spinner because it was cheaper than the treadle wheels, but I really did want a treadle. And then, uh, I saw online that there was an estate sale that wasn't too far from me where they had a couple of treadle wheels. So I went there and I bought this one and, um, it's pretty amazing. It's a really nice wheel. Um, the treadle wheels are quieter than the e-spinners and also, um, this one is really responsive. Like it's super easy to slow it down or stop, um, easier, I think, than, than the e-spinner. And they're also super quiet. So if you're spinning and like doing other things like watching a movie or whatever, uh, the treadle wheel will interfere a little less. So I'm going to go over the workings a little bit. So, uh, now this is sort of the back of the wheel. You wouldn't be facing this side of the wheel when you're spinning, but I just want to show you, okay, it has these, uh, treadles. So you'd be sitting on the other side of it and your feet would be here. Your feet would be here and here, and you would, um, treadle. And then as you treadle, it moves this mechanism here. The treadles are attached to this mechanism here, which then moves the large wheel. The large wheel is attached to a sort of belt. The belt is attached to um, this thing, <laughs> which is attached to the flyer and your bobbin is in the flyer. Now, coming around to the other side where you would sit down, there's an orifice here that your um, newly made yarn goes through. And then the yarn comes up through here, attaches to these hooks, and goes on to the bobbin. So that's a little tour of the spinning wheel. I'm at the part of my project where I'm going to start spinning. Um, the first thing I want to point out is I'm not a super skilled spinner. So if you're looking for kind of hardcore spinning instruction, there have got to be better YouTubers than me. Um, the, my new bobbin is threaded with a leader. It's just, um, two strands of thin acrylic yarn. Uh, and the leader, um, just allows you to start filling the bobbin and get a feel for how the machine is set before you start spinning actual fiber. So you can see how it's twisting. Now I've used this leader before, so it's already twisted. And now when I get to the end of the leader, I'm going to open out the two strands. I'm going to take my fiber feed a little fiber in between the two strands. Oops. More than that. Good. And let it twist around. So basically I'm just feeding in a little fiber at a time and allowing it to twist. And then it goes on to the bobbin. Now, if you've never spun before and you've just acquired a spinning wheel somehow, the first thing that you want to do, and this is the best advice I ever received about spinning. The first thing you want to do is just take yarn that's already made yarn and spin with it for as long as you need to until you get a feel for how the machine works. And after that, 
then you start spinning fiber. So then you can see, you can get a feel for how it spins, how it feeds. Oh, and spinning wheels, they don't have anything that you could possibly poke your finger on and hurt yourself. That's like a fairy tale thing. I have no idea what that might mean. So here's a little bit of a close up of spinning. So I'm pulling the fiber from the fiber that's in my right hand. I'm trying to get just kind of a few fibers at a time. And then as I release them from my left hand, they spin around each other. Now you can see that some of my fiber is a little bit lumpy. That's because I prepared the fiber myself. Commercially prepared fiber is much smoother and you'll get, you'll get a more professional result from it. Um, in theory, I would really like to be a good enough spinner to produce yarn that appears as if it came from a yarn store, from, from a commercial yarn factory. Um, but in practice, I kind of prefer my yarn to look a little homemade, because why not? So it doesn't really bother me to have a few lumps in my yarn. And I figure that skill will come with time and maybe a few more classes. And there you have spinning. Now I'm spinning singles now, and I'm gonna take two spools of singles, and then I'm gonna ply them together, and I'm gonna have my two ply yarn that I'm gonna knit my sweater out of. <laughs> 